own court. So we're going to do a whole house tour because quite a lot has gone on, but tomorrow the, the flooring is going in, so it will look totally different tomorrow and not like a building site anymore. So we'll do a quick tour and then we'll obviously do the next one, you'll see it looking more like a house. So this is the first downstairs um, bathroom. Obviously the showers have now gone in, all of the radiators and whatever have gone in, so the heating system um, is fully functioning, so they're actually quite nice and warm. And so I have to turn off before we go, because I think the plumber has just been around checking it all, and um, so it's all working. Um, not quite sure what's gone on here, <laughs> but I'm sure they'll fix that. I think someone got a bit sledgehammer happy, I think. Um, so obviously that's the bedroom, sorry, that's the bathroom for this bedroom um, in here. So it's been nice and painted, ready for the carpets to come in tomorrow. Um, not much else to show you here. This is the second downstairs bedroom. As you can see, already the carpets come in. So this is the bathroom for that bedroom. As you can see, the flooring has been done. Now, all the bathroom flooring has been done before the rest of the house flooring because uh, the builder asked me if I could get bathroom floorings done first so that they could then attach the toilets and not have to um, wait for that. This, um, this I got off of eBay. All my shower screens I got off of eBay um, because shower screens are normally quite expensive and the ones that I got in one of the other projects I wasn't that happy with and this is still quite a good um, depth glass. I've gone for four mil glass before and I wouldn't recommend going for four, four mil glass because it's too skinny and the glass bends. So this I think is six mil or eight mil, I can't quite remember, but it's perfect. It looks really good um, and it was really quite cheap. Um, so, I'll show you the kitchen and the lounge. So my radiator has gone in, so most of the radiators, the plumber supplies, but when we wanted like a decorative one, I said that I'd supply it, so I thought I could get them quite cheap, again off eBay, um, and I really like them. So this is enough, this kicks out enough heat, all the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like BTU and all them sort of measurements. So the plumber gave me those measurements and I found the radiator, so that looks really good, I'm really happy with that. Boiler's gone in. Oh, the boiler's gone it's in. Boring, but... So that's our boiler cupboard because that's actually an external wall so obviously that can easily go there. Coming around into the kitchen. So originally this was going to be a breakfast bar but um, it hasn't worked out like that because actually when we've got the seats here there's not going to be very much room to then go here so we might still put a couple of chairs there but we don't expect them to be used all that frequently and obviously when this comes down to be able to load, you can't actually then use that seat there. So um, we've had to adapt. Obviously in the plans it works and some and most of the times, 99% of the time what you put in the plans does work, but sometimes it just doesn't quite work out. So we've had to change and we're gonna put the um, dining table in that area now. Um, so again, because we're hoping this will be an eight bed property, we've got two um, hobs and two ovens, three fridge freezers, and then we've got this little island in the middle just to kind of make use of this space, because this was a bit of a nothing space. Obviously it's quite wide, but, so I don't know if this will be useful because it's quite small, but I'm hoping it'll be an extra like prep area so someone can be, you know, chopping up their food and then they can, you know, use this for, um, for the you know, for then for cooking, so the oh yeah, Ollie's telling me to, to talk about these. So the tiles, as you can see, this is really bloody annoying because it's not symmetrical and it's just an absolute well I atrocity. <laughs> so I basically had designed it so that we had because obviously these are sixty. Um, the hobs, the space for the hob and, and everything is 60 um, centimetres or 600 mil. And these are 20 centimetres or 200 mil each. So they should have fit exactly there. And as you see on this one, that's exactly what they've done because that's what I designed and that's what I instructed. <clears throat> this is a 600 unit, but obviously where you've got like 
panels and, and this, that and the other, it ends up being that this in this bit here was not quite 600, it was like 600 and a bit. What I would have done is either put that half, you know, not half, that slither of a tile along here so that you only get like two tiles worth. And then where your eye is drawn, so the focus point then ends up with your three perfectly fitting um, tiles, basically. So when I arrived on site and I saw this, I was like, what the hell? Like, why? I, d I can't understand why someone would have done that from an aesthetics point of view. I can understand from a mathematical point of view, but this as well is like extra work. So if you've just done two, you know, all these little tiles that you have to cut up, you know, could just be waste of tile, and they probably cut it off them ones. But... Well, I'm not sure. You know, potentially they did, but still, it just the work involved in having to cut. You know, one, two, three, four, five of them versus two. You know, just just seems a bit strange to me. Um, so anyway, so I've come up with a plan with the builder. He's going to get the tiler back in. He's going to redo all of this bit. And what we've decided is that we're going to take. So obviously, you've got. If you imagine that this bit, so you're going to have two, one, two here, and then we're going to cut one of these in half, and then have a, a, that slither in the middle down the bottom, so that it's as symmetrical as possible, because obviously there is a off cut going to be needed somewhere, so where do you put the off cuts in the best position? So we thought if we put it in the middle here, that would be the... It's not better at the end there. You can't. It, no. it doesn't fit at the end. It's, got, it's this section... That is the problem. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter about the end. Um, so that's the plan. Um, they had spoken about putting mosaic tiles to to fill the middle, but I said, but it's kind of like a bit weird that you've got like a random mosaic. So I've told them what to do here. We'll see how it fits. You know, like I said, it's it's frustrating, but it is what it is. Yeah, and then this bit they're redoing as well, because you probably can't see it if you're stood from where you are, but if you come from where I am, anyone with OCD will notice this straight away why this is really annoying. Anyone see it? <laughs> so I've told them that this can't do either, and it has to, as for my drawing, go under here. This has to be the focal point, the central point, and then if it goes out further, I mean, I can see why they've done it, because they've done it to be in line with this. But when you've got something like this above, your eye is immediately drawn to the asymmetry. Asymmetry, sorry. Um, so it just won't do. And things like this, though they might seem to some people a bit finickety or you know whatever, I really think it's a big problem. So we have to change it. Um, so that's fine. The builder said, "Yep, he's in agreement with that. So it's going to be changed. So it's not a problem." Uh, so if we go upstairs, sorry, no, we're going to show you this first. So this is obviously the, not utility cupboard, but the kind of utilities cupboard. Um, so it's got the water tank, it's got the electricity board, um, all that sort of stuff is in here. Pretty cool. I like it. But now let's go upstairs. So I'm going to start in this one. Um, so I've already had the handyman come in just to do a couple of bits um, to try and you know, speed things up. So things like the curtain rails he's done. Um, and then this, this is my experiment. So we've got two walk-in wardrobes. Um, I've never done a walk-in wardrobe before, but I looked and I found this from Ikea. Um, and you can kind of build your own wardrobe. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want to break it or anything, but these like slot on and off and you can put them wherever you want. So the way I've set it up at the moment is I've got two rails here for shirts and then there's going to be one here, one here for dresses. Um, but, you know, if, if there was a guy and he didn't obviously need such a long um, rail here, he can move it around, he can do what he wants. Um, and so, yeah, so it's going to go all the way to here and then it's like a really big cover. So I'm really, they're not really pleased. Obviously, we haven't put too much in just yet, but this is like the the taster if you like. So we will see how that goes. Um, Show them the bathroom over there, that one, I like that one. So, so again, like I said, some of the handyman stuff has gone in, so we've got little medicine cabinets in some of the rooms. 
Um, these, annoyingly, I can only get three of them at a time because they're, these are from Argos. Um, and the number of times I try and find medicine cabinets that have got the correct depth because you don't want them too deep, otherwise they, they jut out too far over here. Um, and are not too expensive and are stylish. You know, it's just an absolute pain in the bum. I can't remember how much they were, but these are the ones I've gone for. Um, and they only had three in stock. So, obviously this is gonna be our walk-in shower, so it's just gonna be a screen here. They've put in the thing, this looks a little bit like that's not been hung properly, so I'm gonna to have to mention this, because it doesn't look quite right there. Um, Door closers are on the different ones. Yes, we've got Perco mm -hmm. door closers these ones. Yeah. So I'm going to show you in here because I've got another um, shower screen that I'm really chuffed about. So this is my shower screen. It was really cheap but it feels really sturdy and it's a um, a pivot door so there's no, you know, there's minimal moving parts and whatever. So I'm hoping that you know this will work really well. Um, and if you see, I measured this so many times to check that it doesn't hit against this. And I would think that is a pretty, <laughs> pretty spawn, I would say. So. <laughs> I'm still gonna get the rail fit in here. Obviously, this is their walking, not walking wardrobe, but their built-in wardrobe. Um, there's not much to show you in here, so I won't bother showing you in there at the moment. It's just how you know the handyman's been in, and um, the same as the others. I'll show you this one quickly. So this is obviously one of our biggest rooms, and this is going to be the walk-in wardrobe. So I've got some of the IKEA stuff to be putting in here. So it's going to be like a, an open um, wardrobe. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do about whether we keep it open or not. I mean, at the moment it's such a funny shape that I could put doors on it, but doors have to come out obviously. If I put a curtain, because of this, the curtain won't sit properly and then, you know, how do you partition it? So I'm not quite sure whether we're going to leave it open, we might put doors on it. I'm undecided at the moment, but I think it might be an after thing. Um, Ah, so <laughs> I've got to tell you about the shower screens in here. So obviously we've got a lower ceiling and the shower screens that I got from here are like the ones that I just showed you, the really nice pivot door ones. Again, because, you know, we're trying to have as little moving parts as possible to, you know, keep the, to prevent the soap scum building up and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I bought the same ones that are downstairs for in here. And when the plumbers put them in, or attempted to put them in, I think it left like this amount of space at the top, like a, like a centimetre and a half or something like that, which you can't have because it's got to have ventilation, ventilation. otherwise it will turn into a steam room in here. So <laughs> I had to go and reorder other um, shower screens that are a bit less tall, you know, a bit, a bit shorter, so that we can get at least sort of 15 centimetres and that will be enough to ventilate the shower so we won't get a steamy shower. Um, anymore, so they're going in here. So, this is the last room. Um, so, this one's got a kitchenette in it. So, we've had the little um, tap put in, the little basin, sorry, the little sink. There's obviously that down there, which will go in it as well. We've got this little fridge freezer, which I think is stuck. Um, stuck Close, so you can't actually open that. But there's a nice little fridge freezer there and just, just a cupboard for them to put their stuff in. Um, this bit here I was hoping would be a little bit um, bigger so that it would be able to fit a, a, um, a bin. But to be honest, I think it'd probably be impractical for putting a bin anyway. They might put sort of those stick on um, hooks so they could put like a tea towel or something here. I think if it was a bin, obviously, like it's quite difficult to get to, so it's probably quite a good thing they didn't fit there. Um, so the bin will probably go here, I would have thought. Um, and then, I think that's it, because obviously the shower in here is the same story as the one in there, 
Um, but it might be worth adding, I don't know if you've seen all of our other showers, we've got the overhead shower, and we have said this in one of our other vlogs, but here it is actually set up. The overhead where we have the, whatever it's called, like the, the rain one, um, and then this telephone one, obviously in this one we couldn't fit it because if you have the overhead one, people who are taller than me would be bashing their head. So we've just gone for this, and I think that works really well because now everyone can move it to whatever height they want. Obviously we don't get the overhead nice big one, but I think it's a good compromise, so um, that will have to do in here. Still be a nice room anyway. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. That is our update from Windmill Court this week. Um, like I said, the, um, the flooring is going in tomorrow, so all the carpets and the remaining LVT floor is going, flooring is going in tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that because I think when when things like the flooring come in, people start getting motivated because they can see the end, because if you, if you look at the moment, it still looks a bit like a building site. But as soon as the flooring goes in, it starts becoming looking like a home, and people are like, yeah, I can sort of see the, the end point. So I think things will kind of speed up after tomorrow's out of the way. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, so I will show you around next time, and I hope you've enjoyed looking around, and we'll see you next time. See you later, bye.